Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Wayne Chang from Formosa Force Games looking at Mini World War II, a oh, yeah, game for right. two to four players in which we're sort of recreating World War II mm -hmm. in a miniature form. Yeah. We have the world transformed into this grid. Yeah, so this is a map from the North Pole. Yeah. So Mini World War II is a strategy war game for two to four players within two hours. So okay. it is uh, easy to play war game. Right, so with two people, then we have Axis versus Allies, and That's then with right. three people, it's one versus two. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can talk about what we are doing here. We yeah, have so this is a team play game. Germany works with uh, Japan as the Axis, and uh, Soviet Union with UK as the Allies. So which team win more victory points win the game? Okay. Uh, we have some cards. Uh, yeah, so uh, we use car. So this is a car-driven game. So we use car to manipulate the units here. So you can see the, the tank. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's the ship. And she represent the fleet and the uh, tank will represent the army. Okay. So the car play is quite easy. So every car, you have three, uh, three choice to yeah, do. Just lay it down in the middle okay. here and you can zoom in. So you can do a tech knowledge, or do the operation points, or do the special event. Yeah. yeah, and for operation points, you can build a unit, you can destroy a unit, or move a unit. So that's all. So any combination of the number, so you can use the car to do a lot of uh, different operations. Okay. And you do have to manage a uh, chain of supply. Yes, yes, as, yes. As you're extending forces right, right, out, right, right, that's right. Back to your land. Yeah, and the most interesting thing is the technology. So, with the technology, that can make your operation more efficiently. Like initially, you kill a tank, you need to spend three points. But if you have the heavy tank technology, it only costs you two. So okay. that makes your operation easier. And the most interesting part is the rockets. If you have the V1 rockets, you can discard a one card with four points and remove one card from your opponent. Okay. So if you invented the atomic bomb, that's how we know the, uh, that's how we end the war. So you can spend a six point card and remove three cards from your opponent. All right. So that's brutal. Okay. All right, and we play uh, through the through the ages. Yeah, Close so there are seven rounds from the 1939 yeah. to yeah, 1939 to 1945. But you can yeah manage the, the game time and maybe set different rounds for games. Okay, and things change over the years. Yes. Uh, based on the number of cards you get. Yes. So every round you have you have put, uh, different hand cards. So you need to think about. How do I use the car wisely? Okay, and there's also some changes as well to represent the uh, the yeah. course of the war. Yeah, because China and United States didn't join the war in the beginning, so the UK need to discard one car to progress the marker. And if the marker going to the last box, United States will join UK. Okay. So that's how we demonstrate and simulate the World War II. Okay. Uh, you also get points, right, for controlling certain areas? Right, right. So, like, UK has a three star, that means three points. France has two star, that means two points. And zero star area means one point. Okay. 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 Anything else? That, that's that, all. That's good. Yeah. Thank you very much, Wayne, for Thank the you. overview. Okay. Many World War II. Okay. Thank you.